Hi, I'm Steve Moriarty from moregems.com and today I'm here to discuss with you the colors of garnet. Uh, garnet, uh, our first exposure to garnet was probably the Bohemian garnets from Czechoslovakia, a type of pyrope that was readily available um, and used widely as accent stones in, in jewelry uh, probably for centuries. Um, my first exposure to garnet was when I just started cutting um, and the material coming out of Kangala uh, in Tanzania um, was probably the most exciting thing in the industry at the time because it was much lighter garnets that had ever been produced because garnet typically, particularly in the red garnets, is overly dark and you can cut it as fine as you want, put as many facets on it as you want, and it just remained dark. Uh, but this material out of Kangala was much, much lighter material. Uh, it was a rhodolite, which is a mixture of pyrope and almadine. Um, the uh, garnets are, um, there's two separate groups of garnets, uh, the, the pyrospites and the ungravites, pyrope almadine spessartites, um, and then the um, Euvorovite, Grosseller, and Androdites. And we'll show you several of them here tonight. Uh, like I said, the first one is a pyrobalmandine. Uh, this is a piece I gave my wife back in the 80s. And a nice large size, it's about 10 carats in size, which before that time you just couldn't produce a, a garnet with this lighter color in any size over one or two carats. Road like garnet. Um, this is a uh, rough that uh, is rhodolite, or some, when it's light enough, call it umbelite. So this will produce a nice big stone, another 10 carat, 15 carat maybe. And here's a, a cut stone that we cut recently, not from Kangala. Kangala is no longer producing, but uh, another source in Tanzania. So the Umba Valley is producing and Mahenge are the two big producers currently. And we're also getting material like this out of Malawi and Mozambique. Here's a, uh, another piece. I think this is more in the pyrope. This uh, came out of Morogoro in Tanzania. Very, very light color. And here's a Malaya garnet, my favorite of gems. This one I also gave to my wife. Uh, this is just under 10 carats, kind of a peachy pink. Uh, Malayas are, are pyrope and spessartine and often have almondine in them also. Malaya is actually a Swahili word out of the family, prostitute, um, because when they found them, they were looking for the rhodolites. Uh, they wanted the rhodolites very marketable. This color came out and they just thought they had no value and actually turned out they were much greater value than what the rhodolites were. Here's another of the red garnets. This is pure pyrope. Uh, this is chrome pyrope from, the, uh, from Arizona. And chrome pyrope is probably the reddest of all the garnets. Uh, hard to show red, but uh, this is probably redder than most rubies. Now, up till um, the discovery of this next gem, uh, the colors of garnets were every color except blue. I don't know how many times I told that to people. Garnets come in every color except blue. But then we had the color change garnets. And they went from a color change of kind of violety red to, uh, to blue or blue-green. But, but they do have a blue component and some of them very strong blue component. So that kind of ruled out uh, the doesn't come in blue, although we didn't talk about that because half the time it was more violet. But then again in the uh, early 2000s, a supply of blue garnets uh, came out of, again, I think it was Tanzania. So these garnets do a, a color change when you go from daylight to incandescent. 
And when you go to daylight, which this is a poor representative of daylight, but it will go much more blue-green. This one more blue in daylight. And when you go to incandescent, they go much more red. So this was the start of uh, the demise of the thought that garnets don't come blue. Um, because part-time these were blue and then later in the early 2000s uh, new supply was found that was blue all the time. And now garnets come in every color of the rainbow. So one other type of garnet uh, that's part of the pyrospites is spessartite. And this piece actually has a combination of uh, pyrope almondine and a, a pure spessartite. Uh, this particular spessartite known as Fanta Orange spessartite comes from Tanzania and is probably the orangest of all the spessartites. Um, I do have uh, online you'll see a, a more orange spessartite from Madagascar. Uh, spessartite is is kind of special because real high refractive index so you get really great brilliance out of it. So some of the, the newest of the uh, pyrope almondines or pyrope spessartites, because that, these are commonly known as malaya, and I think that's probably because they have spessartite in it is the only reason I can think of that they're calling them malaya. Um, they're, they're quite pink and very, very light. I mean, these colors previous to this source uh, in Mahenge, you just never got garnets this light. You know, the brilliance is, is great and uh, just because of that lighter color. Uh, that particular source has produced uh, probably for the last seven, eight years and now is of limited production. Uh, but they're producing these light pinks and the peachy color malayas. Other garnets produced about the same time, um, what are known as purple garnets, grape garnets. We have all sorts of names for, for all these different colors of garnets. Uh, the purple garnets, when you look at them, they do have that hint of amethyst in them. Uh, they're coming out of Tanzania and, and also Mozambique. Uh, this is an example of ombolite. Ombolite is just a very, very light rhodolite color. And then uh, we move into the Ungravites. This is a Hessenite, which is a type of Groschler garnet. Uh, most of these come from Sri Lanka. Uh, did miss this crystal here. This is a big specimen uh, that comes from Mineral Mike. Uh, this is a Spessartite garnet. This is a dodecahedron there. They're, all the garnets uh, uh, crystallize in the cubic system. Uh, this habit is dodecahedron, but really cool crystal. Uh, that's like, like same source as this out of, out of Tanzania. And here we have a Mali garnet out of Mali. Uh, these come this kind of green color to a yellow color. Like most garnets, you don't see them very big. Two carat typically as large as you see. And then we come to some very important garnets, very important as far as very expensive. Um, the Savorites, again, these are Groschlers. Um, so the Savorite range of color uh, goes from lighter, which we know as Marilani Mint, Marilani Mint is a byproduct of the tanzanite mining and just a lighter color than Savorite, kind of that bluish green. And this is a crystal of Marilani Mint. And then you go into a little deeper color uh, this we start calling Savorite, a lighter but more intense than the Marilani Mint. They're both Groschler garnets. And 
and then on to the deepest, finest color of Savorite. And this is a, a piece of rough for Savorite Garnet. Really fine green, should cut carrot, carrot and a half. And a mounted piece. And here we have a, another specimen of Savorite Garnet, very large piece. And here's an example of demantoid garnets. Demantoid, uh, what's special about those? A very high refractive index and extreme dispersion, even beyond that of diamond. So we've been using this as accents in, in pieces we're making. Just because you get a diamond-like brilliance and a unique color combination. So these demantoids are andradites, and there's one family we didn't discuss, which are uh, a type of green garnet, uh, which is the ungravites, and uh, they just don't come big enough to cut into jewelry pieces. So I hope you've learned a little bit about the color of garnets. If you have any comments, leave them below in the comment section. And please remember to like and subscribe to see all of our upcoming educational videos.